Until not so long ago, mobile gamers searching for Call of Duty games on the Google Play Store were faced with a slew of pretenders of varying quality, from surprisingly competent to horrifically broken, stopping off at cynically derivative on the way. As of October 2019, however, a new contender has entered the arena to dominate the opposition, Call of Duty Mobile. As the name suggests, COD Mobile is a competitive online first-person shooter released exclusively for Android and iOS. However, thanks to emulation, it's possible for those of us with cheap phones or low tolerance for terrible touchscreen user interfaces to play this popular free-to-play FPS as God intended, with a mouse, yay and verily, a keyboard. The answer to questions like why bother and why not play a proper PC FPS instead aren't important. Coincidentally, my name is also not important. This, however, very much is. COD Mobile is the latest officially licensed mobile entry in the Call of Duty series, developed by Chinese juggernaut Tencent. And like Tencent's other Android multiplayer games, COD Mobile is featured prominently on the homepage of their self-produced Android emulator Game Loop previously known as Gaming Buddy. Like competing emulator Bluestacks, Game Loop allows gamers to play mobile games on relatively low-end PCs and laptops using either a keyboard and mouse or a controller, with keys and buttons automatically mapped to emulate the touchscreen controls without the need for user configuration. I'm running the game on my Dell XPS 9560 laptop, and for the purposes of this video I've switched off the discrete NVIDIA GTX 1050 GPU, and I'm relying entirely on the Intel HD 630 integrated graphics. This should give gamers with laptops or desktops from the last 3 or 4 years a good idea of what to expect. I ran several tests at both 720p and 1080p resolutions as set in Game Loop's setup menu, and at both medium and very high graphics settings in the game's internal settings. I set frame rate to max, which seems to cap things at 60 FPS. Firstly, I tested Team Multiplayer. Running the game at 720p in medium quality, my benchmarks came in at an average of 59.3 FPS, with 1% lows of 29.8. This was an amazingly fluid experience, with very little slowdown worth mentioning. Turning the graphics up to very high in the game settings dropped the performance a little, with averages of 55.8, however the 1% lows took a substantial hit at 19.9 FPS. Turning the emulator resolution up to 1080p impacts performance further, with medium quality turning in average frames of 50.9 and 1% lows of 26.2, and the very high quality setting dropping us to a distinctly sluggish 42.6 FPS, with 1% lows of just 18.7. Next, I tested out COD Mobile's Battle Royale mode. As is to be expected, moving from small multiplayer arenas to a large open world, performance here tanked quite a bit. 720p medium averages dropped from the 59 FPS I saw on the multiplayer maps to just 44.8 FPS, with lows of 14.6. At 1080p medium, I endured the cinematic averages of 24.2 FPS and lows of 9.6. In conclusion, if you find yourself looking to run COD Mobile on your school laptop or your parents' home PC with integrated HD graphics, for the best experience I'd avoid being tempted to turn up the quality and stick to 720p medium. The game's not only amazingly playable at these settings, but it's also really, really enjoyable. As far as I can tell, Tencent doesn't distinguish between players running on emulators and those running on mobile, although there's always the possibility that this will change in the future. 
For the time being, this isn't just a great way of getting into COD Mobile for people who don't have great phones or can't use touchscreens, it also offers a competitive advantage. I've heard elsewhere that it's possible to be banned for using emulators, which given that this particular emulator was developed by the studio behind the game itself doesn't seem all that likely, however I'd still recommend setting up an alternative Google account to be on the safe side. And that's my video. If you enjoyed it, why not check out my top 10s and look out for my forthcoming follow-up video where I see how COD Mobile performs with the GTX 1050. Kindly do the usual YouTube things if you feel so inclined and I'll see you next time.